In a few days, Harley Davidson will be releasing their 2024 models. So I'm looking forward to watching the video and seeing what's new out there for this year. But then it also got me thinking, how did I end up here? When I was younger, I used to hate Harley Davidsons. Me and my mates, we, we wouldn't go near them. But back in those days, the Harleys were just, we knew they were, un, they were unreliable, they leaked oil. If you owned a Harley, you no doubt you're sort of maybe in a gang or you were just a bit out there. Obviously we had no idea, we were just going off what our mates were telling us. So to find out what's changed, we're going to have to go back in time, back to the 80s. So my first road legal bike was a little Yamaha XT250. Uh, I've just turned 15, got my license, I'd left school, started my apprenticeship, so I had my independence. Me and my mates were right into motorcycles back in the day. We'd come from dirt bikes and uh, we were moving up to road bikes. They're all Japanese bikes, Yamahas, Kawasaki's, Hondas, Suzuki's. We'd all buy the motorcycle magazines and uh, check out all the new models that were coming out. It was basically our life, we motorcycles, working during the week and would go out riding in the weekends. Fast forward to 1990, I was 19 years old, I headed overseas, I travelled around the States and up into Canada, and I was with a guy and we were in, um, we'd come into Pennsylvania, York, and he was an English guy, about, about a couple of years older than me, he knew a little bit about motorcycles. And he said to me, you know what we should do? We should go and check out this uh, Harley Davidson uh, factory they've got here in York. And I thought, oh yeah, yeah, why not? May as well, we're in America, got to do, got to do the thing as you do. We went into the building and we, we did the big tour and, and the guy said to us, he says, oh, you guys, if you'd been here a couple of days earlier, you, you could have met Billy Joel, the singer. I was like, oh, really? Well, what was he doing here? Oh, he's riding to his Harleys and uh, we've got a little test track out there and he, he came in and purchased one and he took it for a ride. I thought, oh, that's pretty cool. So then that got me thinking and then I saw all the posters and, and pictures up on the wall in the showroom. Obviously Elvis were into them and a few other celebrities and I thought, oh, these, these bikes actually not too bad after all. And by that stage I had become more reliable. I noticed a lot of the uh, boxes in the factory, the electrical components that are made in Japan, so I thought, oh, that's got to be a good, good sign. So then uh, my mind started to change a bit. I thought, yeah, well, hang on. There's uh, more to motorcycles than just the Japanese brands. And then 1991, Terminator 2 came out and the classic uh, fat boy with Arnie riding it and uh, I just thought man that has got to be the coolest thing ever that bike and the way it sounded and that had made up my mind I thought you know one day as when I'm a bit older and I've got got some money and I can afford to get back into motorcycles because at, at this stage I've sold all my bikes and I was in a relationship and I'm starting to settle down as you do. I thought one day I'm going to get myself a Harley and give it a crack. So now we fast forward to about 2014. We've got a couple of kids and they got to the age now where they weren't around much anymore so I had a bit of spare time so one weekend I headed off into the Harley dealership in Auckland. I hadn't ridden a motorcycle for about 25 years. So back then I think the smallest Harley they did was the 883 Sporty. So I sort of had that in my mind. I thought, oh, maybe I'll just start small and work my way up. So I ended up buying that bike. 
little 2009 883 Sport, he had the short shots. I'll put a picture up of it, it's a cool little bike. I knew I was a bit tall for it, so I ended up putting forward controls on it, made it a bit more comfy for me. So I had that for about a year. And then my wife started to show a bit of interest. She wanted to come on the back and I thought, ah, oh, the old sporty's not that comfy for a, for a pillion passenger. So then I went in, back into the dealership and I traded the sporty and I got myself a 2014 white glide I thought was pretty cool. Had the raking front forks and flames on the tank. And I thought, yeah, this is what a Harley's all about, that, that real classic cruisy chopper look. So she started coming on the back more and more. I think I probably owned that bike for about a year as well. And I had my eye on the, uh, the touring bikes at that stage. I thought, well, I'm going to go for it. I'm going to go for the Street Glide or the Road Glide or the Road King. I knew, I knew they were quite large, heavy bikes. But then I took one for a ride and I thought, they, they're actually not too bad. They are heavy, but they're not as, as big as I was expecting them to be. So I got myself my first brand new Street Glide 2019 Street Glide Special. And if you follow my channel, there's a lot of content on that bike. And now here we are in 2024 and I've moved on to a Pan America. And that got me thinking as well. I thought, how have I gone from a street glide, a touring bike, road bike, to a Pan America, which is completely different. But I think that sort of goes all the way back to when I was young and I had the dirt bikes. And I just wanted to get back into, not full off-road riding, but just those gravel roads you come across every now and then and you think, Man, I'd love to go exploring down that road. And yeah, I know you can take your street glide or your road glide on those roads, but they're going to get damaged and they're going to get stone chips on them and they're obviously not designed for it. And as you do, you know, I mean, if you follow Danny the Million Dollar Bogan and what he's done to his Road King, I mean, good on him, but yeah, that wasn't really for me. I wanted to mine to look, look the part when it was nice and shiny and looking new all the time. But uh, that's where the Pan America's come into it, best of both worlds. So here we are back in 2024 and uh, not long now for the new model launch, the video coming out. And who knows, I mean, I still wouldn't mind getting back into the touring bikes again. If I had the money, I'd definitely have both for Pan America and possibly even a road glide one day. I've had the street glide, I've ridden the road glide, just got to just got to get your head around that fixed fairing. CVO would be the ultimate. So there you go guys, I used to hate Harley Davidsons when I was young. Then I grew up and saw the light. Okay guys, well if you enjoyed the video give us a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. And we'll see you on the next one.